Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another flip through. So today we're going to be flipping through some of my October 2019 daily creative journal. And I make these books out of altered composition books. If you look in the description below, I will have the link to the playlist that shows you the tutorial on how to make one of these books if you would like to try one for yourself. So let's just make sure we're all in frame. Okay, so this is my first page. Uh, this is how I do the beginning of every month. I always put a pocket in here and inside here I store uh, just ephemera or my date stickers that I get from Brooke, Recreations by Brooke. I'll put her link below. And so, yep, I've used everything up. Okay, so here, let's see. Lots of stuff in here. And lots of these things came from Happy Mail as well. Um, so that's always fun. This came from, uh, I don't know what, where everything came from. Well, wait, yeah, I do possibly. Um, Allison from AJ's Inspired Life gave me a lot of these things. I'm not really sure. I think my husband saved this for me. This came from a happy mail. Yeah. These are Brooke stickers. And then at the beginning, because she was on her road show, Brooke was on her road show and so she was catching up with her date stickers and so i hadn't received them yet on this day i don't believe you'll see later on in the book when i do receive them so i didn't know that she was going to whether or not she was going to do the october stickers so i just went ahead and made my own and then when i did end up getting her stickers which was fine and i love them i just put two dates on there so yeah okay so here's a little tag, let's see. Um, oh, okay, so that's where this bag came from. It was actually a bread making bag. Like it had bread in it, <laughs> not the bread, it had the bread mix in it. Yeah, and it was yummy beer bread, so my husband made that. Um, and then let's see, woke to Big Handsome's alarm going off at 4 a.m., oh my gosh. Why on earth? Like, he's semi-retired, so why his alarm was going off? I have no idea. Yep. Okay, so caught some of Laura's live stream. Again, she is the Jersey Crafter. I will leave her link below. And then this came from AJ's Inspired Life with her little dyed, uh, what is this called? Dryer sheet. So cute. So let's see. So Big Handsome and I went out and about... And for the life of me, I can't remember where we went. So, yes, one of the pitfalls of not staying current with my journal, right? So, I don't even know. I have no idea when I worked on this journal. Probably toward the end of 2019. I was super behind in 2019, but I did get it all done, so that's good. Um, let's see. Okay, so if you remember, my son had moved out of the house into his first new home or into his first home and we were cleaning out his old bedroom because my husband and I were going to move my craft room into his old bedroom it would give me a lot more room and just my own separate space instead of it kind of being you know kind of like out in the middle of the house um it's hard to explain but anyway so yeah what a dust fest oh my gosh oh it was horrible Okay, so then I was still sorting books. Holy cow, we have so many flipping books in our house, which I love. I wouldn't want it any other way. So yeah, um, and that was pretty much what I was doing that day. Sorting, sorting, sorting. Okay, so let's see. All right, oh dear. So many questions, not a lot of answers. So I was angry. I had crappy sleep. We went shopping and my daughter had Heritage Day at her school. <laughs> so BQ school had Heritage Day. And for some reason, she didn't participate. I don't know why. Yeah, Big Han you know what? It was funny because Big Handsome told her, well, you could have brought a pineapple and shared that, you know, her Bahamian heritage, you know, uh, my, my grandmother's family. Uh, back a few generations came over from the Bahamas and settled here and pioneered Elliott Key, which is one of the first uh, keys in the string of the Florida Keys. So, yeah, I don't, I, and they raised pineapples. That's what they did. They were pineapple farmers. So, yeah. 
So let's see, shopping, good times, started off at home goods, of course, you know. Um, okay, crappy sleep, yeah, I don't know. Why was I angry? Hmm. Oh, okay, this was about my husband's um, health saga. Yeah, so a lot of shoulda, coulda, would is going on. So this is just a uh, notepad paper that I wrote the rest of my notes on and made it into a little tuck spot here. Tore it off and made it into a tuck spot. Okay, so my husband must have been at the hospital for some reason. No walk, off to the city. F oh, okay, so we were off to the city for Big Handsome's post-op appointment. So he had like a week prior or something like that he had had uh or two weeks prior he had had his gallbladder out yeah chronic gallbladder inflammation so when they took the gallbladder out that's what they found like hello for real this has been going on for five years they just realized oh gosh okay I don't want to get irritated so let's just move on super busy tiring day okay so again with all of these little things okay so it was hot and humid get motivated this from a magazine uh, finally some afternoon craft time and I'm not in the mood okay doesn't that isn't that always the way it happens right when you have the time to do something you're not motivated to do anything and then when you're super super busy then you know you don't have time to do it but you are motivated oh yeah yeah so anyway so I was making date stickers because uh, Brooke hadn't, um, yeah, she was having loads of fun at her road show. So relaxing evening, caught some of Brooke's live. Um, oh, from Susan and Betty's place. Yeah, so they must have been out in Texas at this time. So yeah, it was, um, that was a lot of fun. Okay, so sleepless, yes. Terrible night's sleep, blah, blah, blah. Um... I don't even know. I finally got up at around eight. I didn't walk. Yeah. What was the day? It was a Thursday. Okay. So let's see. Oh, landlording. Yeah, that's always fun. Mm. That This whole thing turned into a saga. You'll hear later on. <laughs> so at any rate. Okay. So first repair for the new tenants. Yeah, they had called us and said that in the spare bathroom the toilet wasn't working and so we went down and fixed it for them no worries the toys okay as we were cleaning out sunshine's room um there were a lot of toys that my son wasn't interested in keeping right so i had seen my neighbor one day when i was walking and i asked if her little boys would be interested so she said sure and yeah, it was just like a bunch of like figurines and um, uh, cars and army stuff and all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah. Um, let's see. As they were. So oh, yeah. Okay. So I went next door and dropped the stuff off. And yeah, on the way home, I was a little teary eyed because it was just bittersweet. You know, I mean, those were my son's toys. And yeah, you know, you know how it goes you ladies that have older kids. <laughs> so then let's see what happened on this day. Okay, I know from this nailed it. I love this little thing. I hope it's not too glary glare, right? Um, I must have gotten happy mail from my dear friend, Allison, AJ's Inspired Life. I'll have her link below because she always puts this snailed it on her packages and I just love them. So this, I had been playing this morning, I guess. Um, yeah, I have been playing and I did this card here. This is actually a photocopy. I keep the originals elsewhere, but I always, whatever I paint or do an art project or whatever, I always scan it into my computer and photocopy it so that I can have it in my daily journal because after all, it is part of my day. And so this was inspired by Joie de Fee and Christy Biddleston, both of whom have YouTube channels and I will put their link below so that's what that was about um yeah it was just a lot of fun and I put I used my Arteza watercolors 
and I'll put the link below for the Arteza watercolors that I use. I absolutely love them. They're fabulous paints and um, yeah, very economical and they're just great. I love them. And so what I did was when they were still wet, they're watercolors, but when they were still wet and, and had a pool of pigment, I took a straw and just blew you know, so that it would do this, <laughs> so that it would spread out. Yeah, so that was a lot of fun. And then let's see, does this come up? Yeah, okay. This is the card that my sweet friend Allison, uh, AJ's Inspired Life, had sent me. And um, yeah, treat yourself with time. I think this is what this is supposed to say. <laughs> She had sent me the sweetest, um, like uh, a faux flow journal for the month, uh, for like the fall season and Halloween and stuff. So that was super, super sweet. This was one of the pieces that was actually in there. So I'm talking about stress relief. Um, oh, Big Handsome did me a huge favor and bathed the dogs. Yeah, they, they were stinky. So I was so thankful that it just wears me out. I can't, I can no longer bathe the dogs. I mean, like it all depends, I guess. Like if I have to do it, then I will. But it just, it totally, like it'll throw me into a flare, believe it or not. So <laughs> anyhow, okay. So let's see. Yeah, then he did a bunch of stuff. Um, I filmed a journal with me video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, yeah. And then drama with the, um, with our tenants down south. Oh my gosh. Yeah. More on the landlording saga as time goes by. <laughs> so... Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. Okay, so then all of a lot of this stuff too here on this page is from uh, Allison's uh, Happy Mail. So I love using every little bit piece and stuff, you know. I, yeah, it's just so much fun. This must have gotten wet up here. I don't know. Um, oh, okay. I had done these cards. Yeah. Okay, so let's see here. This was one of them. Again, this is not the original. This is a photocopy. I keep the originals uh, original, you know. And so what I had done was I used my Arteza watercolors and the Twi markers, Arteza Twi markers. Again, I'll have all the links below. Uh, they're... Some of them are affiliate links, so that just means that if you purchase through those links, uh, I get a little bit of a commission at no cost to you. So anyway, I love using their paints and their twine markers. They're so much fun. I love doing this kind of lettering. I had done this um, little watercolor of leaves, you know, kind of almost like a philodendron, you know, draping down and then found this on a, yeah, this is a photocopy. Okay, yeah. Found this quote online, you know, and yeah, I love, you know, I might've sent this to somebody. Side by side or miles apart, real friends are always close to the heart. I don't know, I can't remember. I should really write that down what I did with it. Okay, so this morning I had done these cards here. Like I had watercolored these little pumpkins for the fall, watercolored this little cactus and the little philodendron things. Yeah, and it was super fun. All this stuff came from Allison's package. And then, okay, so I decided that I wanted to try my hand at some botanical watercoloring and such. So I did that and it was super fun. And let's see. Um, Okay, I used, oh, okay, so even to paint these original, these are photocopies obviously, but to, to do the originals, I just used plain cardstock and it worked fine. There was no pilling or anything. It all depends on how much water you, you use, but it was super fun. Um, and then I scanned these in to the computer for a free PDF file on Recreations by Brooke on her Facebook page. Yes. Oh, and I also posted it to Amore Fabriques, uh, Selena's Facebook group as well. Uh, yeah. So I'll have all those links below as well. Yep. So that was fun. I like doing those. Uh, and then this again, uh, this background paper was from Allison. This is a Mary Englebright calendar page. Received a beautiful 
fall faux journal or flow journal from sweet allison yes and no walk uh let's see not feeling too well found some time in the craft room did some botanical uh, tags yeah that was a lot of fun cleaned off my desk yes which led to filling an ephemera folder <laughs> which led to filming said filling of the ephemera folder yeah so that was a lot of fun yeah and I was just really tired that day but super cute um, this was another uh, thing that I did this is watercolor practice and this might be the original Yes, this is actually the original. I did not make a photocopy of it, uh, which I probably should have, but that's okay because I messed up on the lettering and whatever. But at any rate, my uh, inspiration came from Emma, Emma Lefevre, and I'll put her link below. Super fun. Just did a quick little watercolor background on the music page. And then here is when I finally finished my son's throw, the Lark's Foot Throw. Yep. And let's see, I made it uh, out of Bernat yarn, blanket yarn, and it was approximately four and a half feet wide by six and a half feet long. And the colors, and I, I, I used approximately plus or minus 1,700 yards of yarn. I put the, the YouTube tutorial that I followed, which was Creative Grandma, and I'll try to... Um, put that link below it was the stitch of the week number 255 the lark's foot yeah and it was super easy to follow so I was really glad I had found that and then this is a little tag I made out of bits and stuff lazy morning decided to do a live on YouTube as per Susan's request I guess that's Heidi Popo here on YouTube uh, let's see it was a journal with me. Okay, yeah, so it was fun to do a live again. I don't do them very often and, you know, I don't advertise them. I don't, you know, put on the groups like, hey, I'm going live at whatever. I don't schedule them. I just do it when I have the time. And it's always a lot of fun, whether I've got, you know, two people in the room or 30 people in the room, you know, it's, it's always fun. So, and then I finally, yeah, I had finally sewn in all the ends to Sunshine's Throw. So the entire thing was completely done. And then Big Handsome was using it on the couch and said that he really liked it. Yeah, that it was nice and thick and cozy. And um, it was kind of funny because he's not like a huge fan of crochet, but he loved that blanket and used it quite often before I could pack it up and take it over to Sunshine. Yeah, that was kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Maybe we'll stop on this day. All right, so it was raining, raining, raining. Good grief. Raining a lot. Okay, this is just scrapbook paper. It was gloomy out, up and about. Uh, okay, let's see. All right, well, I, got, I did go for my walk, but I got rain on before I finished. But I did get 30 minutes in at least, so that was good. No call to grandma because she must have had an appointment. Got my ramble session recorded and uploaded, which was nice. Um, yeah, more about the drama, the tenant drama, blah, blah, blah. So that was that day. So I woke at 7 a.m. on this day. This was a Tuesday. And to go for my walk, but it was rainy again, so no walk. Yeah, so I just put in some uh, laundry, decided to do another live journal with me. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So I was on for over an hour and a half, and it was so fun. Yep, and I got a few pages prepped, so that was nice. A lot of times it seems like when I go live, I get a lot more accomplished than when I'm just sitting in here by myself. I guess it just all depends on my mood. It rained all day long, and so the background of this is actually acrylic paint that I just scraped on with a credit card. Um, I love this effect, especially for rainy days. Yeah. Um, okay, so today was October the 8th, and it was my sister's birthday. So I wished her a happy birthday. And yeah, so that was that. And I think we will just leave off right here. Sorry, that was so glary. That's how it looks like that. <laughs> okay, so thank you again for sharing your time with me. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your week. And I will talk to you all real soon. Bye for now.